and greetings boys and girls around the world. I was careless in placing my data points on this chart. I'm going to confess to making a mistake. This is the chart that I've been showing you. And right here, this spike at data point 74, I just realized that I misplaced the data point. It is one one hundredth of a degree too hot. So I'm going to lower it where it should be because it's only 1.16 degree hotter than today. And this was about 2300 years ago. This was BC. BC, 2300 years ago, one degree hotter than today. That was even before the Industrial Revolution. I wonder where that CO2 came from that made that spike. Because we know, according to Al Gore, CO2 drives temperature. It's the USA that spews all the carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Not Russia. Not China. The USA. But I found an article put out by scientists that worked for NOAA, the Weather Service, National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration, which says this. They mentioned carbon dioxide normally released into the atmosphere. Here's an article by scientists that work for NOAA, the Weather Service, talking about carbon dioxide normally released into the atmosphere from the Pacific Ocean, the equatorial Pacific Ocean. The article is about El Nino. And the article includes the names and the phone numbers of the scientists who did the study. You can find it by clicking on the link in the video description. First we filled the sky with carbon dioxide and now we are filling the oceans with carbon dioxide. This is why all of the seashells of all the little snails and crabs and shrimp are disintegrating before our very eyes. because the oceans are turning into a soup of carbonic acid, all because of the United States.